Right, hi everybody, this is Chris 2E0UKH and today I'm looking at Talk Alias on the Anytone radios. Now, call signs on the ASU system are sent over the air. There's no need for a database file to be loaded on DSTAR. Call signs are sent over the air. There's no need for a, data file, a database file to be loaded. And there is a feature on um, many DMR radios, especially newer ones, which is called Talk Alias. And uh, call sign information will be sent over the air, over the network. You can even examine the packets in uh, Pystar. And you can see the packets arrive. Now, Talk Alias has, it gives less information than the DMR database. You know, you'd load the DMR database, but you might have a radio that can't hold the full DMR database, or it might be a hassle. If you've got Talk Alias enabled, you don't actually need to load a DMR database. You know, it just mostly works. But um, like I say, there's more information on the DMR database file you load. So the best way to configure it is to check for the information first from the DMR database. And then if someone is not on there because they're new or there's some problem in the system, you will get the information over Talk Alias. So talk alias, it doesn't always work. Some repeaters are not compatible. Motorola repeaters are not compatible, and I'm sure there's others. Um, different networks. There's talk alias there. Comes up talk alias on the screen. It's struggling to find that guy's information from the DMR database. So I've got it to revert back to uh, Talk Alias. So like I was saying, I just wanted to show it working. I'll turn that down. So Motorola repeaters, there might be others, Phoenix, you know, some networks don't support it. Uh, Brandmeister supports it. I'm on Brandmeister. And I'll show you how I configured it. If you go to menu, talk groups, at the bottom on this 878, doesn't work on the 868, works on the 578. If you go to talk alias, top one is talk alias, transmit, send. And the top one I've got transmit with talk alias. I've got that set to yes, it's on. And the bottom one transmit talk alias form. I've got it on ISO 8. If you experiment with these, you'll find you get different amounts of characters and information. So that's send and receive talk alias the top one is off and the bottom two if you select one of these bottom two they're on and you can choose to have just talk alias if you don't have a dmr database loaded you'll get call sign information it will be basic but you'll get you'll get some information so if you're a bit idle and you don't want to uh, keep putting the DMR database in or you find that difficult, you can just enable talk alias. But I prefer to have it set. Check from the DMR database first, contact first from your digital contacts in the DMR database, select that. 
and if someone keys up it finds them in the DMR database. If it can't find them it will go back to talk alias. I have very rarely had no call sign come up at all. You know, a combination of the two and you're going to get the information on the screen. So that's how I set it up. And there is another little setting on these Anytones. This is the 578, oh, the 878. It does it on that 578 as well. If you go to settings, channel set, and there's a section about your info, uh, about your call sign, about your ID, radio ID. Now, I've got in there radio, uh, radio Big Mouth. So you can add an extra line of text. I've got to alter this, by the way, because you're supposed to have your call sign somewhere in the in this extra line of text, which goes with talk alias. So I'm going to alter that. So you can go in there and you can edit. You see, this overwrites what is sent from Brandmeister. So you can have an extra line in there on talk alias. Now, there's another section on the PC software. I mean, if you've done that, that's enough to get it working. So I'm just going to load up my... Uh, 878 CPS software so at the bottom left you've got a section talk alias and if you click on that it comes up send talk alias you can choose it on or off Alias display priority. I've got it on contact first and then alias and alias data form that needs to be on ISO 8. You know, I haven't read this from my radio, so it's still on default. But you want it on. Best to have it on contact first, then alias and ISO 8. And that's all the settings for Talk Alias. Actually, there's one more. Sorry, I apologise. Um, in the section where it shows your DMR ID. Just closing that alias window. Radio ID. It also shows a line which you've set as your talk alias information. So I'm going to change that with my call sign because you're supposed to have that on there. Right, so hopefully you found that video useful, setting up talk alias. And if you found that useful, you'll, you'll love this website uh, created by Norman Williams. All sorts of stuff for the 868, 878, 578 is all covered in here, like sending, receiving, talk alias. So, tons of information in there, and I'll put a link to that in the description. It's hamradio.joomla.com forward slash any tone minus sign dmr dot html so i'll copy that and you'll see it in the description just below the video right seven three